Hello everybody and welcome back to another alt history video and today I'm going to be joining back in the Hearts of Iron 4 world just because you guys seem to like it based off of the last video's view count. So today I'm going to be talking about what if the Intermarium plan had actually happened. I know the timeline isn't quite right. The Intermarium plan was meant to happen around 1922. That's when it was discussed. So maybe three years later. So we're about ten years ahead of time. But I can fix that with the magic of command controls. So I can add in all of the lands that probably would have been included in the Intermarium. Those would have been Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, Yugoslavia, the Baltic countries, and maybe some bits of Belarus and Ukraine. Romania. And then we will do the Baltics. Estonia, Annex, Lat. Oops, I can't spell. Annex, Lithuania. So this is what the Intermarium was supposed to look like, with the inclusion of Belarus, Ukraine, and Finland. However, I don't think Finland would have joined this. I think Finland most likely would have stayed independent, and they would have had some kind of, you know, bonding agreement with each other, where they would, you know, defend each other if something happened to one another, and that's what would have happened. I don't think that they would have joined. Now, what do I think would have happened in an alternate world where this horrible monstrosity was a thing? No offense, Poland, this just looks really bad. Well, what I do think would happen is I do think that they would hold some, not all, of Ukraine and Belarus. I think that the border would most likely be somewhere around this river line, the Dnieper River. I do think that they would have gotten most of it. I don't think that they would have been able to hold... All of Ukraine seeing as how they were weak but the Soviets were weak so I think that they would have had somewhat of a you know demarcation line Hoy doesn't allow me to draw the river line but just use your imagination and ignore this cancerous tumor over here it's like brush in real life right now this meme will age properly but yeah this is what I think it would have looked like approximately now what would have happened in the future well the winter war most likely would have still happened Although, I don't know if the, the Intermarium would have joined this scuffle, because I don't know if they would have actually backed them up on their, you know, like, hey, where's our defensive pact? Well, they could have been, we're still busy, screw your defensive pact. So there could have still been an issue between Russia and Finland. So Finland most likely would have lost at least the same territory that they did in our world, Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. They could have kept their uh, Arctic territory, for example, as a bit of a concession, you could say. Now, what would have happened with Germany? Because that's the most important part that anybody ever cares about and clicks on this video. So, how would World War II have happened or not happened? Well, short answer, World War II isn't going to happen. Because uh, Germany, right here, Italy... And the Soviets. If it was going to happen, they would have all had to team up to kill the West, then to kill each other. Which almost did happen in our time. Not quite, but you know. The Soviets had planned, you know, the West and the fascists would fight each other and then the communists would win. Well, maybe they could flip that on its head and say, hey guys, how about we take out the Allies and we'll split Poland in half. I do not think that would happen in this time. I think that Germany is just going to end up having to sit there and pout. There will be no World War II. At least not as it would be. I do think that Germany would have been able to annex Austria as they did in our time. And they might have been able to pull Danzig away from the Intermarium. I could see that possibly happening as well. So Germany would get this back. And Germany could maybe pull their land back here for some, of course, guarantees. Since the Intermarium, the idea of it being it is a voluntary union or semi voluntary it was a voluntary union. So to keep the peace, I can see them allowing Germany to have this somewhat disgusting border with them connecting their lands as such. I don't think that Italy would be getting anything from the Intermarium. And in fact, I could see Albania joining the Intermarium to protect themselves from the Italians. Italy, like I said in the last video, 
would most likely be the main cause of World War II overstepping their boundaries. Italy, I could see teaming up with Bulgaria, trying to annex Greece and Turk and or Turkey and or the Middle East, which would be a big no-no as seeing this is British, this almost is British, and these could have been British very much. So the Italians will be stepping on the French and the British feet, and Italy could very well be broken up in this timeline again because they tried to declare World War II or a regional World War II in the Mediterranean with Turkey and Greece. So what would happen to Italy? Well, probably the same thing that happened in my last video. Ethiopia getting their territories down here, France and England splitting Liberia, and a breakup of the Italian state with Naples, the Papal States, and some kind of Venice, Florence, Milan, Gullibaloo up here, with maybe the transfer of Tyrol back to Germany as well. That's what I could see happening in this timeline if the Intermarium did happen. Bulgaria might also be annexed into the Intermarium with their failure to annex Greece and Turkey while being on the side of the Italians. So the Intermarium might also grow to expand into Bulgaria and into Greece, and not including Turkey. I think Turkey would stay the same mostly because they're kind of a nice buffer state as well because the Intermarium would be getting a little too big in this time, so that could be a bit of a problem and a bit of a powder keg. It wouldn't be quite kick in the rotten door, but it wouldn't quite be the most stable you know, country. I do think Warsaw would remain its capital, and it would be somewhat of a Commonwealth-type deal that would be going on. The Soviets also having nowhere to expand would just kind of have to sit and pout, maybe joining the Americans, declaring war on Japan, However, I don't think they would get very far with China because China would be more united or maybe I could see getting more united. But that's what I think would happen if the Intermarium was a thing in 1922 or maybe formed in 1925 and how World War II wouldn't happen.